Hey, what's up, guys? It's Angelo here today, coming with you with another video on a roller coaster today, and it will be about the delirium and the shockwave. So, as you see in this picture, this is what the shockwave actually looked like before it was the delirium, and they actually painted it to a different color. Here's another picture of it from a different angle, as you see here. But um, this is basically what it looked like. And the thing about the delirium. Now it is now finished, so I will have some pictures of it what it looked like before. But they had demolished this ride uh, a few years later, I guess you could say. And as you see here, here's another color of it. They didn't painted it to a lime green, as you see here. And I have another angle for you about right now. And um, as you see here, this is from the angle going up the hill. That's what it actually looked like. So this was them when they were actually demolishing the ride, and this is what it looks like. And here's another picture of when they actually fully demolished this. And the reason why they did, well, it just wasn't getting enough attention anymore, and that's really why the ride was gone. And it actually was pretty old as well, so here's a little closer up picture of it. And as you see here, it actually looks kind of rusted, and you can definitely tell the paint was pretty old so uh you have the new picture of what the delirium looks like right now so as you see here this is what the delirium is supposed to look like and uh here's some of the parts when they were bringing it in actually on what they were doing with that so in another picture though i'll be showing you basically them actually bringing up the motor and the motor is 900 pounds so uh it was a pretty heavy motor the crane it took a good, I guess, hour, you could say, to actually put that crane on the um, top. Because the way the ride works is it's like a pendulum. And as you see here on the crane, um, when it was adding the motor, the pendulum was to be added next, as you see here. And the reason why that was was because it's a swing type ride, kind of like the Berserker. So instead of the Berserker, like how it goes all the way upside down it just spins but it goes almost as high as the berserker so it doesn't do a full 360 but it goes a full or it goes 120 degrees so as you see here that's what it looks like now and that's basically the finishing i hope you enjoyed this video remember to give it a like comment and subscribe to the channel for more content and i'll see you in the next video and don't forget to follow me on instagram at angelo.savage peace